Welcome guys, the new airdrop exclusive shotgun is the overall best shotgun in the game. And after having played with it for several games, its strengths and weaknesses quickly became apparent. So why should you use the DBS? As an airdrop only shotgun, obtaining this weapon is involved with a huge risk and arguably the reward of getting a shotgun in a drop is not worth the risk. However, one way that I've gotten this shotgun quite a lot is by simply flying to the first airdrop on Sanok. If airdrop hunting is not your favorite activity, you might want to consider this approach. Looking closer at how the gun performs, it has the tightest spread of all the shotguns closest followed by the 686. And next after the pump action 1897, the second highest damage per shot. A powerful shot like this will evaporate enemies when super close. But the true power lies not in the damage per shot, but in how quickly you can fire these shots. Two quick shots is an incredible amount of burst damage that will completely remove your opponent's chance to react. And as you probably noticed here, the gun has a teleportation bug where you will sometimes teleport after firing two quick shots. Do you think I got reported here? Naturally, this is a bug that should be fixed soon. The quick burst of damage, when close, makes the DBS a dream weapon to push into small areas with. And it's a perfect weapon to crash a compound with. You should use this gun if you like to get up close and dirty and completely blow your enemy to pieces. So the DBS has a high burst damage when close, but since it is a shotgun, the accuracy of the weapon is the same when hip firing as it is when going ADS, which allows for incredible mobility during combat. You can run and gun and even jump and gun while maintaining accuracy. To get the maximum value out of this weapon, you need to use this mobility to the max and not be afraid to jump into the face of your enemies. The problem with the DBS is how quickly you get out of its effective range, because even when between 25 to 50 meters away, it quickly starts losing power. Fighting outside of this effective range will get you killed if you fight good enemies. Because you shouldn't really win a fight like this. This is why the DPS needs to be accompanied by a DMR, as that is the weapon class that will synergize the best with the shotgun. This will cover almost all ranges, but will leave you at a disadvantage in a mid-range fight if you face an assault rifle. One of the most important tips I can give you is to watch your firing mode indicator, as this will show how many shells currently are chambered in the gun and thereby can be fired before you need to pump it. A problem with the DBS is that it can be fully reloaded while having only a single shell in the chamber. This will force you to pump after only a single shot. The way I fix this is by only reloading at an even number of shells, which sometimes means wasting ammo to reload it fully. In the end, the DBS is a bit of a gimmick, but it does have a place in the game. It is super fun and is a weapon you should use if you love close quarters combat, if you aren't afraid of pushing compounds and especially if you play in a squad. In solo, this gun can feel a bit awkward, but in a squad, having a team member that is ready to breach buildings with this gun might not be a bad idea at all. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time.
the fuck?